why you should stay single. Mm -hmm. This is coming from two married men. But we're talking about why you should stay single. Because not everybody is ready to be married. Simple as that. We talked about it a couple episodes. There's a lot of things that come with marriage that you're going to have to adjust to. And there's a lot of things that you might need to shore up and, and some, some, some loose ends that you need to tie up before you consider getting married. So we're going to be talking about today why you should stay single. Josh, I'm going to let you go ahead and get it started. Listen, you know the Rev, Slim Rev has got nothing but points for you. I got an acronym for purpose. Please stop. Please okay. stop saying Slim Rev. I have words to... Slim <laughs> Please stop. Hey, bro, Slim... Come on, man. Hey, Slim Rev, that's who I am. <laughs> That's why this is what you have to deal with now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's and that's the reason why you should stay single. Because when you get married, your spouse changes, your partners change, and you got to know what you're getting. You, you got to know what you're getting. You don't know what you got until you got it, and you only you're not even when you got it. You don't know what you got until you marry that person. So you better know what your purpose is because my first P, the first uh -huh. letter for purpose okay. of why you should stay single. Because of partnerships. You got to know your purpose because when you know your purpose, you know who and who not to partner with. Okay. You should stay single until you know your purpose because most of y'all out here partner yourself with people that doesn't contribute to your purpose. Boo boo, baby girl, okay. baby boy. How are you going to know what y'all supposed to do if you don't even know what you're supposed to do? That's true. People partnering with people that have no purpose <clears throat> for your purpose yeah you you see what i'm saying Peter? yeah i'll let you go with that point bro i don't know if you want to ride that wave or well no nah, i was just gonna say yeah that that's a good point because when you you know when you get married it should be it should be a partnership y'all should be working together towards common goals like so y'all's purpose should to a certain extent align not necessarily saying that it's the exact same purpose but y'all's exactly. like strengths and weaknesses should complement each other and y'all should be able to you know use each other fill each other you know uh, the person who's strong in one area is able to compensate for the other person who's not strong in that area and vice versa mm -hmm. so that y'all together can accomplish god's purpose for y'all as a couple so absolutely you need to know before you get married it's good to know what your purpose is so that when you're looking for a potential suitor you're looking for somebody who's gonna you know complement what you're trying to do What's your purpose is? If your purpose is to be a minister, you might not want to date somebody whose purpose is to reach uh, the have a stripper club member uh, ministry or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you don't want that kind uh, of ministry because you're guaranteed to fail. <laughs> right. <laughs> that might be. There's not a minister on this planet that can handle that kind of activity. You, know, you might have struggled with, you know, might have struggled with lust in your past, and that's her. That's her purpose is to minister to ex strippers. Hey, I'm just saying, <laughs> it's not a good fit. You should stay <clears throat> single. Not a good fit. You should stay single, and you have to understand, nobody on this earth can complete you but Jesus, yo. Like, like some people out here, they want to be completed by somebody else. I got to have somebody so I can start my purpose. Oh, I can't do anything with. No, man. You compliment each other. Like BD saying, man, your purpose ain't going to match. And that's OK. Don't latch if it don't match. And what I mean by match, that it complements each other, that it's going along the same path. That y'all balance each other. And and it's unfortunate how many people are partnering themselves with 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 individuals that has nothing to do with their purpose. And they wonder why their purpose is on ice, their purpose ain't even expressed, and now they're the person used to help somebody else fulfill their purpose. So partnerships, man, is my first point, man. P, P for partnerships. You got to know your purpose so you'll know who to partner yourself with. Because imagine Adam getting Eve before he finished his assignment. The purpose for Adam in that season was to name animals. You know good and well, if he saw Eve in all her glory <laughs> and he saw a giraffe and then he saw Eve, he looked back at the giraffe and saw Eve, he ain't about to name a giraffe. <laughs> ain't no giraffes getting named. Ain't no giraffes getting named, and all those animals after the giraffe, he just got to the G's. 
he, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. He was like, man, the rest of y'all, hey, man, I'm about to go see what Eve right. doing. Let me see what. So God was like, yo, man, I ain't going to do Adam like that. And most of y'all setting yourselves up to fail because y'all selling for partners that's keeping you from naming the rest of your animals mm. and your life for your single. And then you get married and you call all up in marriage and it's cool for the first year or two. But then that purpose that's on the inside of you start calling e. and you, you wanting to go towards that. And your spouse is like, nah, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do something else. I'm trying to have, I want to have a baby right now. And you like, well, I need to go after this purpose. It's on the inside of me. It's burning. Nope. Now you got responsibility to your wife. Stay single, man, till you finish the assignments of your single year. Stay single. God knows when it's no longer good for you to be alone. He knows. He knew Adam. He's like, yo, when Adam get to the zebra, when he get down to the Z for zebra, the zebra was like, thanks, Adam. Yo, appreciate the name, bro. Good luck. <laughs> then God was like, yo, Adam, knock them out. Put him to sleep. The first thing, the first anesthesia that was given to man was a two-piece by God. Put Adam to sleep, took a rib out, made Eve, and he was like, Adam, yo, wake up, son. I got something for you. And them things was in his face like this. And he was like, flesh in my flesh, bone in my bone. You want, let's fellas, hey, you'll know when it's your time when you start spitting poetry. That's when you got the right one. That's when you got the right one. All right. You got any points, BD? Because you know I got like some more letters. I'm just bouncing off what you got, my friend. You. That's how you spell purpose, right? P-U, right? You. Yes. Man, don't get married. If Because purpose helps you stifle your urges. And it gives you a sense of urgency. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because when you know your purpose, listen, man... It's urgent for me to get this book out. It's urgent for me to get this album out. It's urgent for me to get this business started. I don't got time to be wasting my time at these parties, wasting my time in and out of relationships. It's I got I got to stifle these urges. Yes, I got the urge to be married. Yes, I got the urge to have sex. Yes, I got all these urges. But because I have purpose, I can stifle these urges to fulfill what's urgent. Because what's urgent right now is my purpose. See. I wrote my six books. It was urgent for me to do so because I'm so glad I went and did those things because in my thirties, when I get those royalty checks, Mm -hmm. I'm glad that I listened to those urges, the urgency of purpose. And some of, some of y'all, some, I don't like to say some of y'all, some people out there, they fall into their urges. They settle in a relationship versus the urgency of their purpose. Yo, you need to write me right now. You need to, you need to finish me right now. I'm supposed to help you later on. Your ideas, your dreams are screaming at you like, yo, come on, bro. Don't go to that party. Don't go with her. Don't go with him. Yo, I'm crying out to you. Give me life. Do you know your ideas hate you right now? Mm. <laughs> like, bro, I want life, bro. Give me life. I want to be out there in the world. I want to bring you residual income. I want to make you wealthy. I want to make you successful. Make me alive. Bring me out. Bring them out. Bring them out. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? It's hard to yell with them females in your oh, <laughs> the map. So to piggyback off of what you were saying. <laughs> no, but who I pre I preached two messages today. I'm on fire, fire right fire now. Legend. Cool you down. <laughs> cool me down. I got you. Wipe me down. Cool me down. But no, yeah, it, it, <clears throat> that's you're exactly right. Like when you're single, that's the time for urgency. And I think sometimes people, you know, don't feel that way. You feel like, you know, you got time, you know, it's no rush. Nah, that's the time for urgency, like to get the stuff done that, you know, God has purpose within you because like God has a plan for your life. Like he's got a plan, like you say, for, you know, your single years. And then he's got a spouse for you who's going to complement your purpose. And you guys have stuff that he wants y'all to accomplish together. But if you're not accomplishing what you're supposed to accomplish during your sing- uh, season of singleness, then you delay in the process. You get married, you know, and you you haven't walked into your purpose. It hasn't made room for you. So y'all struggling. You have to take a job that you don't want to take. Your wife got to take a job. She don't want to take. Y'all busy. Y'all tired. You know, you end up pregnant. Like, life happens. And it just <clears> delays <throat> the process. Y'all might eventually get around to the purpose that y'all are supposed to achieve together. But if you've already taken care of that and you're single, <clears throat> in your singleness, 
when you get married, it's already manifested itself. You you walking in the fruits of it. And when she comes and she's accomplished hers, y'all already got that handle. Y'all moving on to bigger and better things that God has for y'all. So it's urgent when you are single to get get you know, walk in your purpose. Take care of the things that God has for you, that God's put in your heart. It's better to care for what's urgent now than to be in urgent care later. That's real. Take care of what's urgent now so you don't have to worry about being in urgent care later, man. I'm telling you, I'm so glad that I listened to the urges and the urgency of my ideas. All right, next point, BD. <clears throat> R, mm -hmm. why you should stay single to find your purpose? 